Happy Tuesday out there, Team 42. It's your skipper here, Darius Dell, to present our Macro Minute for Tuesday, October 17th, 2023. I will start with the executive summary from today's leadoff morning note. As always, if you want the analysis and the conclusions uh, supporting these uh, conclusions as it relates to what to do uh, in your portfolio, got to be subscribed to 42 Macro. So we'll start with number one. Uh, the 10-year nominal treasury yield is back up around 480 uh, as investors continue to digest last week's barrage of sticky inflation data from the U.S. economy uh, and the inflationary implications of widening geopolitical conflict in the Middle East. Uh, investors can hope for containment, but hope is not an effective risk management strategy. Our KISS portfolio construction process is, however. Uh, number two, at last week's local lows and bond yields at around, right around 450 on the 10 year, uh, we explicitly called out the unsustainability of the rally in rates. Uh, the bond market increasingly agrees with our hawkish take, and we are likely to see yields continue to back up if U.S. economic data continues to confirm resiliency, a low probability of a near term recession, and a move towards sticky inflation. And number three, uh, to that final point, or uh, to that last point, Today's September retail sales release uh, was supportive of our resilient U.S. economy theme. Uh, the various categories beat across the board and accelerated to the fastest three-month uh, annualized rate of change uh, since May of 2022 uh, on a headline basis. And core retail sales accelerated to the fastest pace uh, in a couple of months uh, on a three-month annualized basis as well. Uh, transitioning to my Bloomberg here, where we'll get, uh, get a cross-asset uh, performance rundown. So we'll start with U.S. equity sectors, uh, S&P up 0.9% week over week, uh, being led higher uh, by utilities up 3.6%. Those are probably going to get cracked uh, today uh, pretty hard uh, on this move in higher in rates uh, in terms of factor performance. S&P up 0.9%. You got growth up 0.9% as well. High beta is the laggard uh, up 0.2%. So very clearly a deep risking uh, going on across the buy side. Geographic performance, S&P, as I mentioned, up 0.9%. Uh, ge geographies are being led higher by Brazil, up 3.3%, uh, and China up 1.6%, and you got uh, India up 1.5%, kind of um, right in that, right in line with China. Uh, in terms of uh, fixed income performance, uh, the core ag down 0.6% uh, on a week-over-week -week basis. Uh, you now, uh, the only thing bucking the trend is, is levered loans up 0.6%, but pretty much every fixed income sector uh, is down, being led lower. Uh, by uh, mortgage-backed securities at minus one uh, percent there. Uh, getting into currencies, dollars up small, 0.2% uh, uh, week over week. Uh, for Swiss franc, a, a currency, a, a known safe haven in the currency market is up 0.7%. And you have currencies like the Aussie dollar, Japanese yen, uh, lagging uh, uh, minus 1.1%. This is a risk off move. And this is a move, um, the, the, this move is a function of rates in terms of the Japanese yen. And then uh, commodities, uh, the broad commodity basket DVC is up 1.4 percent. Uh, commodities being led higher by precious metals up 3 percent and crude oil up 1.6 um, percent. You're seeing uranium diverge a bit from crude oil again. There's a broader de-risking going on in the context of uh, the, 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 the risk off top down market regime that we continue to be mired in as investors. Uh, and then lastly, crypto uh, got the, the old fashioned pump and dump uh, from the Bitcoin whale community. <laughs> uh, with the BlackRock uh, leak, the, the fake BlackRock leak uh, the other um, the other day. Uh, but anyway, uh, crypto still up. Uh, Bitcoin's up 3.3% week over week. Very limited dispersion with the exception of Solana up 12.6% uh, on a week over week basis. This thing is incredibly volatile. Uh, and then lastly, transitioning to my Lombo dashboard here. And nothing much to call out uh, from the perspective of the trading ranges. You got Bitcoin nearing an overbought condition in an albeit uh, a, a, night, a tight trading range. You got 29,088 on the upside. 26,257 on the downside. So uh, probably not the best spot to be chasing uh, some of these uh, some of these fraudulent headlines. So I will wrap it up there. Darius Dell presenting our Macro Minute for Tuesday, October 17th, 2023. Best of luck out there today. We'll catch you back here tomorrow. Cheers.